Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well, and I'm very excited to show you guys uh, another figure in my collection. Uh, a commentator asked if I asked me to review this figure in my collection, and um, I was happy to do that, because I actually own this figure. This this animal is known as the Blainville's Beaked Whale. It's produced by the company Collecte, as you see on the bottom of the figure. Its number is 88761. First produced in 2016 and still in production today. The Blainsville's beaked whale. They're beaked whales that are known as mesoplodonts. Those include a lot of other beaked whales. There's around like 16, 17 species that are known. And they're actually still describing new species. There was one that was even described in 2021. It's a very poorly known animal. Especially the other beaked whales. And what is known is that... It has these tusks on like the on a snout on its like beak and that's like pretty unusual and actually very interesting about the animal it's a uh, blowhole is kind of like half it's like it's kind of like a semicircle and it's actually pretty close to a snout unlike other whales where it's more on the back these animals they live in groups of groups of four to five and they're known to inhabit warm and tropical waters and they're more notably seen around the caribbean and bahamas they actually are very deep divers they can reach depths of over a thousand meters and beaked and beaked whales are very very interesting what i really really like about this figure is the the scratches on it and this is actually intentional because a lot of uh Beaked whales, I guess, stranded on beaches, they have these marks or these cuts on their bodies. And this is due to sharks, most notably the cookie cutter shark, which likes to, I guess, like attach itself to the animal and take pieces of its flesh off. So that's why these scratches are there. That's a very nice touch and, de and very nice detail that I'm happy Collecte put on the figure. Now to review this figure... This is an animal I honestly did not know about when I looked at the catalog, and I'm just very happy to buy it. I bought this like around three years ago in another in a big buy with a bunch of other whales. This is such a this is honestly a very interesting animal. I really like the dots, these spots on the figure. Its uh, fins are really nice. These tusks are actually pretty sharp and they're not bendy, which is cool. And I really like its snout. Its eyes are well made as well. Its tail is a bit bendy, but that's kind of common with a bunch of other whale figures, so that's not really a problem. And this is a very clean figure, that I, and I also really appreciate the scratches and marks on the back. Overall, I'm going to give this figure a 9.8 out of 10, and that's just because of the bendy tail. Which, I mean, it's not really an issue if you're just having it for display, but if you like little kids like to play with it, it can actually damage the figure. This is a very interesting animal that I honestly did not know about, but while researching, researching this video, for this video, I came to appreciate it a lot more. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and just let me know what other animals I should review.